welcome back to Carmen and Jason's journey. Thank you so much for um, joining our channel today and watching our newest video. Do you want to say anything, Jason? Welcome everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Um, we have 11 new subscribers total, so we are super duper geeked about that. Like that is so cool. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe and comment below and um we will be attempting to make a video every week and drop something new for you guys out there okay sound good sounds good all right so today we are going to be talking about renting apartments or an apartment or an apartments whatever and building and buying a house and the differences between the two. Just some of the pros and cons, really. Um, we may have to make this into a two-part video. We don't know, we're just gonna see, we're just gonna kinda go with the flow and see what happens. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So you wanna talk about some of the pros first of renting versus, well, let me rewind a little bit. Before we start talking about them, let's just tell everybody out there a little bit about our journey of why we decided to make this video. Um, when we first got married, we wanted to buy a house, but we um, we couldn't find a house that we liked. So um, we decided to rent an apartment. And we actually had an apartment. That's a whole nother story because it was not a good situation. But um, yeah, we, we had an apartment. We rented the apartment for three years. Uh, we stayed there three years and we tried to find a house, but we was kind of running out of time you know we had to be out that apartment but we had to look diligently mm -hmm. and we also it, it was tedious it was a lot of hard work mm -hmm. but we finally found the house right so um we'll go into a little bit about what that was like living in an apartment and some of the pros and cons and then the going into the second part of what it was like buying and building our first house together so um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the pros of renting an apartment that we experienced. So what, what would you say was a pro to you, like your first pro? One of the pros was we didn't have to put down a big mortgage payment and we can try to save, save up some money. So true. So true, Jason. Yes. So like that was a big thing. Like you have time to save. So that gave us some years to put some money aside and be able to save up for a down payment to buy or build our first home. Um, one of the pros also for me was we weren't responsible for maintenance of the apartment. So if something went bad, um, like your water heater breaks, you don't have to, you know, pocket that money out. You can just, you know, get call the maintenance people and they're usually like 24 hours maintenance. Hey, we need you to come fix this. Um, so that was one of the pros for me of renting was zero maintenance so what's another thing that you would say was a pro for you for renting well one of the pros was they had a lot of amenities they had a swimming pool uh, a workout facility and they also had uh, grills on site so you can uh, barbecue uh, whenever you wanted to <laughs> that is so true yes so I agree with you that was pretty cool like being able to have a pool and then they had like this place was fancy. I mean, they had like a beer on tap and they had my husband's favorite beer. I think it was, what didn't they uh, have? Miller, Miller Lite. Light. Yeah, so they had Miller Lite mm -hmm. on tap. Coffee. Coffee. They, I think that's like when Keurig's like really first was popular. So um, we didn't have a Keurig at the time. Thank goodness we do because I got him <laughs> one for an anniversary gift one years ago. But anyhow, back to the point. Um, the amenities were great. They had like a pool table. Um, corn husk, no, corn toss. Corn, you toss. corn toss. Yeah, so it was a lot of amenities. And um, I would definitely say that was one of the pros of being a renter. You had access to the amenities that were there. And you talked, did you say about the workout facility? The workout facility. You can go down there, run on the treadmill. You can lift <laughs> some weights. And uh, you didn't have to go like drive it. to the gym. Exactly. It was open 24 Everything hours. Was on site. Everything was on site, I agree. So that was awesome. Um, so I would say the fourth one for me, one of the pros was, um, oh, let me see. 
I would say I took some notes. Let me look at my notes and see one of the things that I thought. Um, oh, yeah. It's easier for you to move. So if you want to move place to place, like the one place we were in, we had to get out of that place because it was it was in a great neighborhood, but it was just the landlord was a slumlord. So if you're out there and you're looking to rent an apartment and maybe it's just a single landlord, you some you might need a reference from the landlord. So um, yeah, that that was another thing was that it was easier to move um, from place to place if you have an apartment versus a house because of course you don't have to try to sell the house. You don't have to try to sell the apartment before you move. Okay. And it also gives you an opportunity to save money that you would have had to invest in a, a big a big mortgage or put down a lot of money. It helps you save in the future. Right, right. And we talked a little bit about that saving thing. That is huge, being able to save your money. Um, so those are pretty much five things that were pros to us for renting. So drop some comments below on um, what are some of the things that you enjoy about being a renter. And now we're going to talk about some of the cons that we experience being renters, okay? So what is your first, would you say, a con that you you thought was renting? Well, when we rented... The duplex a, place? A duplex. Yeah. 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 Uh, so what had, was the thing that you didn't like that was a con? Well, it had got cold this one winter, and we had and the windows, they let all the cold air in, so we had to call the, the, the uh, landlord to come and fix the windows. He took but, his time, but he finally came and fixed it. So the the negative with that, even though he took did the maintenance, the negative there was that um, he didn't. He was not like quick about fixing things. I mean, it was awful. It was like it was to the point we had to, to where, keep calling and calling and bugging him. We had to bug him to death. Yes, I mean, it got to the point to where we were gonna have to escrow his rent. So if you have a landlord out there and they're not fixing what they're supposed to fix. Escrow the rent. Escrow the rent. Um, and you can Google on how to escrow your rent for your location, wherever you're located, if you do have a slumlord. Because that, and that would be another con for me is having a slumlord. <laughs> that doesn't take care of business that you have to bug. Oh my word, that doesn't take care of the property. That can be a definite con. Um... So what's another one of the cons that you would say of being a renter that we experienced? Another con, we couldn't change any of the decorations around because once we moved in the house, it was everything was set and we wanted to improve it. But, you know, you have to go through the, the landlord to get it approved and changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's huge because you can't like put the paint colors you want um i mean you could do stuff like curtains but you can't change yeah you can't you you can't make updates to the place so yeah if it's white walls and they're like this is the colors then um, they have to stay white yeah or the carpet so make sure if you do get an apartment make sure you like everything about it but you can always use other things to decorate um but yeah some of the cosmetic stuff it is what it is. More than likely, you ain't going to be able to change it. So, um, one of the cons that I have is focus a little bit, but you don't really have a sense of ownership. So when you rent, um, you don't own anything. Um, it's, it, nothing is yours. So you don't have that sense of ownership to me is one of the cons of being a renter. Um, what, what else would you say is a con? One of the other cons was we had to go up three flights of stairs. Oh, my word. <laughs> yes. And we had groceries. We had to climb up three flights of stairs. Yes. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. So I would, the I, this is a pro. I'm kind of going back. So, so the pro was living on the third floor. You had a balcony. You could sit outside at night, drink your wine, beer, whatever, beer, on the patio. Relax, that was down. nice. However, if you got groceries and you got a bunch of groceries, taking them up three flights of stairs, stairs sucks. Especially so, in the wintertime. It was cold. You had to, we had snow. We had to go up three, oh, three flights of stairs. that did. It sucked. And so I literally was trying to think of something I can invent to, like, let it down off the back of the balcony and, like, <laughs> pull the groceries back up. Like, I don't I didn't happen. But, yeah, I was thinking of ways that we could have not had to do that so that was a definite con 
um, another, now that he says that, it makes me think of, um, we're on what, like the third one? So one of the other things is pets. Some people have pets and I have nothing against dogs, cats. Like I like people, I like animals. Um, we don't have any because he says it's like too much responsibility right now because he's had dogs and, um, yeah, but I want a little dog. But right now, anyways, back to the point that we don't have any pets, but not everybody takes care of their pets the way that you would. And so um, we would come home and like our the bottom floor person that lived there, their dog was always loose. And like, as soon as you came out, it was like ready to attack you. Like, so. and it would bark at you, come running at you and lunging at you. It would bark, it would oh. try to chase you. So, I mean, that got real old real quick. And we put up with that for like three years. So, that was that sucked. It wasn't um, fun. It was not fun. And I would say, what's our final? The final one, I think we both probably will be on the same page. I don't know what you jotted <laughs> down or what you thought, but I bet you that we're on the same page with this one. We had a problem with a snorer. <laughs> you can hear the person go to sleep. The walls were so thin. You can hear the person snoring through the walls. Oh, my gosh. And one gosh. night at 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> she woke me up. Like, let's move the bed around. And so I was, that, yes, that is another con. You can hear everything. You can hear the people next door. If you're on the middle level, you can hear the people above you walking. If you, I mean, I would have never, ever imagined that we would have heard somebody snoring and this was not like a normal snore and ain't no knocking y'all snores out there but honey let me tell you it was like a grizzly bear <laughs> I, ain't never, I mean the walls the bed was rumbling like <laughs> it was crazy do you hear me that was it that was the nail that hit the camel's back like after that I was like we moving I started watching HGTV uh, build your house, whatever it was. I was like, we out of here. We gone. We adios. We out of here. And we also heard a lot of car doors slamming, like all times of night. Oh, was, you can hear everything. You can hear everything. You can hear everything. Um, L- uh, loud music and. We, uh, I mean, it's you just can hear car traffic. Yeah, so there the peace. You ain't really getting no peace. So you got all the amenities, and I think I'm gonna have to add a bonus con on there. Uh, a bonus con was. You got all of that, those things, and the rent is expensive. Well, in, in Columbus, Ohio, if you want to live in a very nice neighborhood and you want a nice apartment, so you can find a one probably for reasonable, but um, that place was all, was more than our mortgage was. It was probably over like close to $1,300 a month. So, um, that may be cheap for some places. I'm not sure, but for paying that for a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment, it was not worth it at all. At all. How many square feet was it like? Not enough. Not enough. (laughs) It was not enough for the price we were paying. I think it might've been 800 or. I can't remember how many square feet, but it wasn't wasn't enough. enough And it was a family of four living there. No. Mm -mm. No. Right. So that was our experience of renting um, an apartment, actually a couple apartments. And if we had to do it all over again, we would definitely buy a house. Check out our next video and um, just thank you so much for watching. You have anything, final comments you want to say? I know you was over there looking like you had, you was looking for something else you wanted to say. And also enjoy our videos. And take time and give us likes. We appreciate all the likes. Thank you, guys. Stay blessed. Peace, love, and happiness. In process.